Hello, students. Uh, as in the revision class, uh, you would like to explain about you the basic test for drugs uh, that is for the pharmaceutical uh, substances, medicinal plant materials, and doses form, which we have discussed uh, in uh, unit one in uh, starting classes. So let us have the review. Like uh, basic, as the name indicate, basic test for drugs, right? so uh, we are very much aware about the drugs definition and uh, what is the type of chemical moiety or substance we can say that is the drug what should be the minimum requirement right so in that drug pharmaceutical substances means uh, these are the agent uh, which will be useful for the manufacturing of medicine or doses form right uh, it is pure drug we can say pure drug uh, which is known as a pharmaceutical substance medicinal plant materials right in herbal medicine or in herbal products whatever the things we are using that are medicinal plant materials like uh, different parts we are using root stem fruit flower bark uh, right so those are the plant materials and the third one it is the doses form right so doses form means whenever any pharmaceutical substance it will be incorporated into the any uh, any form right so so that it can be administered to the body by the different route right so that will be doses form or the form of the drug right in which is form so here uh, who has given the guidelines uh, for the different test basic test for drugs here you can see uh, this is the sample of world health organization uh, which is there in geneva the head office is there, there in the geneva in 1998 that these guidelines was launched right so uh, here you can see who library cataloging in publication data right so here different uh, things uh, the basic test for drugs uh, these three things whatever so pharmaceutical preparation chemistry plant material chemistry and doses form chemistry indicators and reagents chemistry analytic so let us discuss one by one introduction right so coming to the introduction this manual or this guidelines or the book which is having has been designed to used in conjunction with the two earlier conjugation of with the two earlier world health organization publication basic test for pharmaceutical substances and uh, basic test for pharmaceutical doses form right so these two publication which was already there with uh, so this one whatever we are studying now that is the combination or conjunction of these two earlier publication of who okay most of the pharmaceutical substances and doses form covered are included in the WHO model list of essential drugs, right? So WHO already it is having one model list, right? For the essential drug means uh, jaruri drugs or uh, the most required drug, right? Which is mandatory means uh, for example paracetamol. Paracetamol it is considered as essential drug, of course, because uh, fever may come for any of the reason X Y Z reason, maybe for the infection, maybe for the inflammation may be for the uh, ex, uh, different types of person so that is essential drugs that is comes under so like that has been given who has been given the list the present volume describes procedure for testing of further 23 pharmaceutical substance further what has been given apart from that and eight pharmaceutical doses form and also for testing four medicinal plant material section 3 and 5 right so here 23 
pharmaceutical substance 58 doses form and uh, around four medicinal plant material that we have discussed like uh, senna was there like uh, uh, podophyllum like that so the basic test these basic tests represent one or one of the many elements of quality assurance in pharmaceutical supply system they have been divided with the following objective so what are the objectives that we should understand right objective of these guidelines that i told you to provide a simple readily applicable method for verifying the identity of substances using a limited range of easily available reagents when the labeling and physical attributes give a rise to doubt okay simple and easily or readily applicable method which can be used full and it will be very simple or easy to understand for verifying the identity of substance how we are going to verify the identity that the given substance is quercetin rutin amikacin paracetamol ibuprofen whatever the drug if it is or whatever the uh, uh, senna raulfia ashwagandha or any dose form tablet capsule ointment lotion so that's what right apply simple and easily applicable or readily applicable method okay second objective that is the to provide a practicable means of confirming the identity of substance when a fully equipped laboratory is not available right so what is the condition here when a fully equipped laboratory is not available right what do you mean by fully equipped means what are the thing we required to test or to do that experiment or that perform that procedure if we are not having sufficient number of equipment like hot air oven incinerator microwave oven or a uh, different types of uh, coating machine punching machine friability so whatever the thing whatever the uh, we are talking about sharing getting rotating drum in pharmacology right inoculation loop in microbiology uv animal uh, laminar air flow so all those things if it is not there in that case in that case how we can uh, what do you call uh, identity the substance without using that hi fi types of equipped uh, or equipments right what are the alternate method i mean to say right so the uh, alternate method uh, a practicable means uh, it has given the third one to indicate uh, uh, whether gross degradation has occur in certain substance or not G the gross degradation means whatever the substance if it is there uh, whether their degradation are there or not that we have to uh, we have to uh, right so basic test are not in any circumstance intended to replace the uh, requirement of international pharmacopoeia right. the international pharmacopoeia or other pharmacopoeia monographs right these gives the assurance of quality where the basic test merely confirm identity right so what happened in 1994 that's what this manual we have got since 1994 the who expert committee on specification of pharmaceutical preparations agreed that the scope of these tests should be extended to include additional information and a reference to other simple test methodology right so the expert committee they have designed this manual for the test so that it will be uh, additional information it will include and at the same time it will be reference for the uh, 
uh, other simple test methodology which is already available okay so uh, the coming to the next uh, page of the manual here the usefulness of simplified analytical technology right usefulness of simplified analytical technology and supporting elements for example thin layer chromatography kits right that kit will include tlc plate uh, then uh, uh, re uh, detecting reagents then uh, spraying uh, operators like uh, how what the re spraying reagent right then the reference tablets and the associated training materials was fully endorsed by the committee right so then uh, they are considered to be valuable tools for the primary screening and could play an important part in identifying the counterfeit and uh, sporous products several collection of simplified test are therefore reviewed in this manual right so when we are testing any drug any drug whether it is herbal or doses form or pure product the chromatography the first chromatography that is the primary chromatography the thin layer chromatography tlc that is very very important why because to identify any of the constituents you will be having rf value which is already established for that particular constituent so you can find out with this because that's what it is endorsed fully endorsed by the committee means compulsory you should have tlc kit and you should have the reference tablet or reference other training materials right so that was the theme actually now also it is being used the tlc with the whenever we are going for starting any of the study in any of the component any of the herbal plum plant material the first preliminary study that is the thin layer chromatography then only we are going to hp tlc hplc gcms lcms and all those things degradation during storage and transportation is of the particular importance in tropical countries right so degradation means contamination or breakdown of the particular constituents or active constituents which is present in the certain uh, doses form or pharmaceutical substance so that is the uh, big challenges right so for that only indeed on expiry date determination for the temperate climate may be inappropriate in the tropical region even when the high standards of peak uh, uh, aging are met for this reason only the particular importance is accorded to visual inspection of doses form since this frequently provides a first vital indication of degradation so what hap what happened here actually we have to consider that what is the t half that how we are determining the expiry date right the expiry date determination it is depend on the content present in the particular medicine and what is the individual t half of that uh, sorry half life of that particular content then what is the overall half life of that particular medicine so that's what it is all about interconnected and they, then only we are going to tell that ki this much this many year the the product will be considered as a expired one right this is also applies in case where there are reasons to suspect quality defects suspect quality defects there are reason if there is a reason right due to the poor manufacturer tampering and the counterfeit counterfeiting these are the reason visual inspection inspection should precede any testing inspection procedures are outlined in basic test of pharmaceutical doses form 
right so that has that has been outlined already so what is the intention here you can see the basic test need not be carried out by fully qualified pharmacist or chemist right it need not that it should be fully phd holder or a uh, b form holder or any chemist basic test that's what it is basic model you are getting no when you are going to purchase any new car so in that car there will be different different brand will be available xe xt xz xz plus now in tata tiago it is available or in maruti suzuki celero in any of the brand if you will go so basic model will be having only less features yes or no maybe sometime remote locking will not be there sometime uh, the sensor will not be there back camera will not be there or so uh, basic only basic features will be there but whenever you will go for the in a, a little bit higher variant of that particular brand so you may get some extra feature so that's what it is basic test right only at how much minimum test we will be able to confirm that the particular given sample of the thing it is that one or not need that's what need not fully qualified any matlab means normal person also who has uh, inter pass or uh, some other degree holder also they may if they will be if uh, the person will tell that these are the uh, reagents you need to mix and you have to change see the color changes and these that you uh, the person will be able to do that's what you might be seeing that many of the pharmaceutical companies also they are not hiring the b form people at some sector somewhere right wherever they can manage with the some uh, ba bsc or some uh, any degree holder or any inter pass also sometimes they are preferring in the non technical this thing but they should be per the performed by a person with some understanding of analytical chemistry right so minimum training one two month training such as uh, that acquired uh, in course of pharmaceutical assistance right how you are going to get able to give form so what are the basic means you should know that minimum the concentrated hcl is harmful or any of the concentrated acids are harmful and the what are the hazards risk of the particular different chemicals when you are working in such organization okay then uh, next uh, the facilities indeed here the facility indeed for carrying out basic test the equipment required and methods for the determination of melting characteristic are described in details in the two earlier manual of basic test which i told you that is this is the combination of that two right so reagents additional to the ones described in those two manuals are listed in section 6 in this manual right so several tests are described for the most preparations not all of uh, these need to be applied uh, to any one sample if however there is any reason to suspect that the product is mislabeled or sub standards right so all test described should be performed so that uh, sometime we have to assume that we have to guess that the whether it is mislabeled or sub standard from where it the sample has been come who is the who are the manufacturer and uh, all those things by their nature simplified test cannot be totally reliable right that's what an adverse result uh, even in one test should be taken as a warning of potential unsuitability of a drug in this circumstances or in this situation a final conclusion should not be drawn until a fully analytical examination has not been carried out in properly equipped quality control laboratory right so these are the things right <coughs> for uh, as a reference so right so these are the uh, introduction we can say here uh, what uh, other collection of uh, simple test that we will discuss in the next class